What a do YouTube, this is Asteroid. So I'm going to review the 2009 album by Green Day, 21st Century Breakdown. Now this is the, the next album that happened after American Idiot. They took five years off. They started working on this album, 21st Century Breakdown, in early 2006. But it took them three and a half years to get this product out. And it's another concept album, kind of similar to American Idiot. It's a concept and rock opera kind of style. So it's just like American Idiot. It's basically like the spiritual successor to that project. It's not a direct sequel, but it is kind of in the same vein. It's the same kind of thematic approach as it was last time. Now, the thing about American Idiot, for those who are, may not know like the storied history, American Idiot was definitely like a modern-day classic rock album. And it was very heralded, went six times platinum, had a number of multi platinum singles and charted really heavily on like the standard charts not just the rock charts but also like the just regular charts for pop music rap music country music and other things so it just did that extremely well and it had a lot of staying power from basically like the mid late summer of 2004 all the way until about the winter of 2006 it had about an 18 month kind of window of promotion and this album kind of carries that somewhat but <clears throat> Somehow I would have to say the concept behind this project this time, while the songs are good, I feel like the kind of like primary color distinction that the American Idiot album had, it just doesn't feel like it has it in as much of a primary feel. Like I feel like some of Green Day's best songs would still be Holiday and American Idiot and Boulevard of Broken Dreams and When September Ends, but I just don't see that concept as I start to listen to more Green Day. This is really only like the third Green Day album I've reviewed, but in terms of like career highlights from them, I might think that 21 Guns kind of was, but I don't feel like Know Your Enemy quite has the strength that the lead single from American Idiot did, American Idiot. So this is kind of the concept, but it is a good song. But we'll kind of get into these and we'll talk about that so you can kind of know about it. So that's kind of the thing. There were five singles from this project. The first single is Know Your Enemy, and this is kind of like a nice alternative rock song. Very compact, doesn't have a second verse, and that originally bothered this originally bothered me when I first started reviewing this album, but I've grown to like this song a little bit more. I do feel like it's a nice gem for alternative rock and stuff, but I would definitely say it's like a Friday night, Thursday night, Saturday night kind of feel. De definitely something for like a pub and a pub crawl, going out to like night venues and that type of stuff. Just another hit, very similar to American. Very similar to American Idiot and Holiday from American Idiot album. This has that same kind of high tempo kind of energy. So that's a nice one. I will say, like I said a few minutes ago, I, I don't feel like it has. I will say, like I said a few minutes ago, I don't feel like it has the distinction of Holiday or American Idiot, but it is another good song in that same vein. If you're just looking for a nice regular kind of weekend single by Green Day and you need something to kind of hit up. And plus, this was a pretty popular song. This hit like 28 on the Billboard 100. So it's a relatively known song, maybe kind of an underwhelming one, at least in terms of the notoriety it got. It's a good, I'm not saying it's underwhelming in terms of quality, but this is not, it's probably not talked about as much as it was. 13, 14 years ago and such. So it's definitely one to dig up a little bit, and it is a pretty solid one, just because I feel like American Idiot and Holiday get the girth of kind of Green Day plays compared to the 2000s Green Day. And um, 21 Guns is the second single. Now, this is a single I feel like is probably a career highlight, and I could tell just because this is the most popular song on Spotify. This had gotten over 480 million plays, and in my opinion, this is a song for the military. This is kind of a food for thought song, kind of similar to Know Your Enemy. These are kind of Politico-type rock songs. This is definitely some palatable stuff. And I kind of, like, Osama Bin Laden was alive at this time, so I kind of feel like there was the concept of the military and that sort of stuff, talking about 21 guns and that sort of thing. And uh, the thing about it is, is this has a pretty good chorus. This is a real hazy, kind of distorted kind of song, very similar to Boulevard of Broken Dreams. This kind of has that melancholy kind of feel, and it's a nice kind of power ballad in a sense, maybe not a super... Maybe not a super power ballad, but definitely something in the aspect of saying that it's definitely a ballad in the sense of like the stuff that Green Day doesn't do too much. Like, I feel like they pulled it off better with Boulevard of Broken Dreams, but this is a pretty solid one. This is definitely a blue collar song. I definitely feel like this is one that you could hear 
going to work every single day. I'm sure that this got played out back in 2009, 2010 and such. I just would have to say this seemed like it was a rock music staple. It was just an easy kind of highlight. This is one by Green Day. that This probably was like a song of the summer and that type of stuff just easily kind of crested and just kind of, you know, just had like its staying power like Green Day typically did back in the 2000s. So this is kind of the concept. It's definitely, I would see it as a career highlight. It's a nice one. Maybe not a party song and an outgoing song, but it just has that kind of blue collar kind of work a day kind of feel towards it that it's kind of typical of what was probably necessary, something that can be presentable and just kind of food for thought when you're on the job and that type of stuff. East Jesus Nowhere was the third single, and this is another one. This is kind of like Holiday off of American Idiot, where I feel like Holiday and American Idiot were a nice one-two punch off their 2004 album. I feel like Know Your Enemy and East Jesus Nowhere, I feel like Know Your Enemy and East Jesus Nowhere are kind of a good one-two punch off this album. So that's just kind of the concept as far as trying to talk about that, and I kind of look after it. Very kind of high tempo, another night venue, kind of stepping out for the weekend kind of feel of it. And it just has like a nice energy. Yeah, East Jesus Nowhere is definitely one where there's going to be some drinks around and that type of stuff. I just really feel like this is a perfect kind of weekend kind of song. This is the kind of energy that Green Day just necessarily needed to have. And it's kind of like you hear this song and you wonder where the hell, where the fuck Green Day went back between 2006 and 2008. And it's kind of like it was just necessary. It really must have sucked having to wait those five years for Green Day back in the day, but that's just kind of the concept. This is a good one. Basically, just like Holiday and American Idiot on steroids. And um, 21st Century Breakdown is the fourth single. This is the only single out of the five I didn't enjoy. The problem I had with this song is it's similar to Jesus of Suburbia off of their American Idiot album, where it just kind of switches up songs mid-song. So in like Jesus of Suburbia... There were like three or four songs in that song. That song, Jesus of Suburbia, was like an eight, nine, ten minute song or something. Maybe even a twelve minute song. I really, I, I like the radio edit and I wish that they would have put the radio edit of Jesus of Suburbia on American Idiot, the album. I probably would have liked that song. But I still felt like, I mean, this song, 21st Century Breakdown, is only five minutes. But I just didn't like the amalgamation of it. I just, I, I'm not too big a fan of like song switch ups where they have two or three songs in a song so I didn't really enjoy that one I would have liked I liked the first two verses of this song and I probably would have liked it more if it would have just kept that same vestige of that song but I just didn't like that one and um Last of the American Girls is the fifth single, and this is kind of a rock song for the ladies, not so much like a romantic kind of Valentine type song, but just kind of a more female fan of Green Day kind of song. Like if Green Day was for women, this would be a song for the ladies and that type of stuff, the song that women would kind of like. And I like the concept of it because they didn't really do that on American Idiot, and I don't know how often they have done something like this. So it's just kind of interesting kind of get like a, a women's song for like a single and that type of stuff, and it kind of works pretty well. So this has a nice kind of mid-tempo. It's not another party song. Like I feel like East Jesus Nowhere and Know Your Enemy are the party going out kind of songs, but this one's just kind of like, I don't know, it just kind of feels like a song that a chick would listen to in like the car, just going around, walking around, something like that, being at the house, just kind of, I mean, I do like the energy of it, and I would have to say I do like the, it's just kind of a lounge song, definitely a song for cruising around, just kind of, just kind of a song in motion, that type of stuff, just getting errands done, that sort of thing, but I definitely like that one. So I'm going to talk about the eight songs out of 17 I recommend. So those eight songs I recommend would be Know Your Enemy, East Jesus Nowhere, Last of the American Girls, Murder City, Horseshoes and Hand Grenades, The Static Age, 21 Guns, and See the Light. So to talk about some of the songs I haven't talked about, like... I feel like Murder City is kind of like a nice song for getting ready to do something, whether it's just waking up in the morning and getting ready to start your day or getting ready to go, go get crunk and that type of stuff, get ready to step out and have a flashy night and get, you know, have some fun and that sort of thing. I definitely feel like Murder City is a good one for that kind of song. Like Horseshoes and Hand Grenades is another nice one for stepping out. So there are some night venue kind of songs on here. There's not an overabundance, but this is another one to throw in with East Jesus Nowhere and then Know Your Enemy. So they do have a few stepping out moments. It's not an overabundance of these, but there are a couple morning songs like The Static Age and See the Light. Both remind me of songs that you would listen to upon waking up or just kind of 
in a more early morning kind of set. The Static Age and See the Light feel like songs that are kind of ones that you would play in the early morning and kind of feel like rock versions of Hustle songs, whereas this kind of is bright and early, got to get up and get it, just kind of get motivated and that type of stuff. I definitely kind of like the energy of some of these. I, I definitely like the energy of some of these, just being able to step out and kind of get started. So it has a different vibe where not all of these kind of have like having drinks at the bar kind of vibes, but this is just kind of a little bit more of this like, in some cases, it's not just like a hustle song, but it can also just kind of be getting ready to go to work and maybe you have to be at work at 9.30, 10.30 in the morning, something like that. And it's just kind of songs for the morning, commute and that sort of thing. So I like the concept behind that. It's just kind of a balanced album. And there's definitely some stuff on here. This would have to say... But to talk about some of the things I didn't like, there were a lot of songs on this project that just kind of had like very choppy and kind of uninteresting song titles and production on here. And a lot of these just were not noteworthy enough to really have a lot of paid attention to. This is kind of the reason why I didn't review this album sooner is just because it's not very user friendly and just intactful. I feel like some of these, even the songs that I enjoyed, I feel like some of these just kind of keep up the concept album theme which just kind of makes it as opposed to like at least holiday and american idiot and boulevard of broken dreams i mean some of these were dramatic but the sense behind them it just does not have just like the approachability as far as like the context of it and it's just kind of yeah i feel like a lot of these songs that i didn't recommend to you they just have like a lot of passe kind of energy they just don't really keep up with like a nice interesting tempo or anything that kind of has like an a kind of jumps off the page kind of distinction towards it. A lot of these are pretty flat and they're down tempo and they just kind of feel a lot more solemn and kind of maybe too much collected than they probably needed to. I mean, I know that this album had a theme, but I almost wish that Green Day wouldn't have carried that theme so seriously so we could have had more songs about cutting loose because just the fact that there's only real three songs on here, there's only like three songs just know your enemy east jesus nowhere and horseshoes and hand grenades that really have any sort of stepping out and kind of having a riotous kind of time and there's just not i mean i guess murder city is kind of another one that kind of does that but it's really kind of kept to a relative minimum just because green day is normally a pretty in kind of green day is normally a pretty electric punk rock kind of band and stuff but i think the theme was just followed a little bit too closely and there's just too many songs just in that conduct because I feel like it was more trying to paint the picture that I was trying to paint more so than supply with like quality moments that could have the enjoyment towards it. It just kind of feels more of like a lesson of an album more so than kind of the context of like saying hey you know let's take this album with us on like a road trip or a vacation or something like that in those kind of moments or a hotel party something in that lighting point it just doesn't have that context i mean i like the fact that it had like songs for the military and songs about war songs like know your enemy and 21 guns and some of those type songs but i still kind of think that it, it this was a lot more of like a lesson and kind of in of an instruction project more so than an actual kind of riotous kind of energy and american idiot just pulled it off better i mean the songs I, I do feel like the singles are distinct i do think the singles on both these albums are distinct but somehow it just i felt like american idiot was a little bit more spastic this and i felt like american idiot was a little bit more spastic this album it's a little bit more kind of careful with what it says and just kind of has a little bit more pensiveness about it that's just kind of it, it just feels a little bit more laid back. And I just like the approach, kind of the, the relative crazier energy on uh, American Idiot. But that's just kind of the thing. So I'm going to give this album, me liking eight songs out of 17. I'm going to give this album like a 4.75 out of 10. I feel like that's relatively good. I mean, it's not outstanding just because the previous Green Day albums, American Idiot and Father of All, I both gave like eights and nines and stuff. But I feel like this album has the charm about it really well and the 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 motive of what it wants to do but it just doesn't quite pull it off as shrewdly as it probably needs to and especially for a green day album that's just kind of somewhat of a surprise this kind of happens to be a thing but the social score i will give like a six out of ten just because four hitting singles a nice blue collar single two good party singles a nice female rock song and just that kind of stuff plus some other moments for like mornings and uh, like a few more stepping out kind of moments that this kind of happens to be the concept so it gets a six out of ten social because it does have some decent bops on here but it just kind of 
you have to understand that it's just not a whole cyclic album that you play from head to toe and just have the whole album be on blast and stuff because it just doesn't carry that energy like that. And it's just like, you know, sometimes Green Day does that, but this is not one of those times. That's kind of the situation. But in terms of the future, like Green Day has been absent since 2020. I'm hoping that they'll come back soon and we'll get some more stuff. But this is definitely a good example of some something that I feel like is kind of overlooked. Green Day is not something that is played as much as probably it was 13, 14 years ago, but it probably needs to. And it's just an album to kind of refresh your memory of just to kind of is this kind of a good album to refresh your memory of just to be able to have some gems and some other hits past like the typical staples of Green Day and such?